What's up guys, Skid Rampage here. So, Walmart, Target, and GameStop all did Funko Pop oopsies for Emerald City Comic Con 2021 Funko Pops. Let's check it out. Alright guys, so another ECCC 2021 video. I didn't want to do another video until next month when the actual, you know, reveals start. Uh, not reveals, but releases start in stores like Hot Topic, GameStop, Box Lunch, do a Funko Pop hunt and do some reviews for some of the new pops coming out. But this was just kind of like, this just keeps happening and I wanted to do like a little Funko Pop oopsie slash news video on this subject. And that is that Target, GameStop, and Walmart are all releasing these pops kind of like on accident. I don't know if it's on accident or on purpose or what's going on, but they're releasing it two, three weeks at a time before the event itself when these pops are actually supposed to come out. And this, you know, this makes a lot of issues go on when the actual uh, day comes, whenever, you, you know, all the pop collectors are actually going to these stores trying to buy these items or online, et cetera, et cetera. So this all started with, uh, you know, Target putting their pops on their shelves early with no register lock. And I figured Walmart would follow soon and it actually did happen, which we'll talk about in a second. So like I said, it first started with Target actually putting out Charmander, Yoda, and Deadpool pool early on so we actually already got you know the those pops spoiled and where they were going to early on two it was probably like two and a half weeks before the actual con started um and the reveals and things like that by funko now then right after the con ended target threw up their exclusives online to pre-order and i'm like why are you throwing up your exclusives two weeks early like I don't understand how this is not regulated at all. And the problem with this is that all these people buying this stock messes up the actual stock for the day of or messes up target stock, um, especially having no register lock, as well as it drives up the price, the aftermarket price already. And it's cool that, you know, hey, you know, you get an early pop. You know, I'm not saying I wouldn't buy one myself. That's not what I'm saying. It's just also the fact that it's going to drive up the price. And then later on, when people want these pops, these they're already going to be like $45 because they're already selling on eBay for $40 to $60 already. So the price is already driven up. It's absolutely crazy. Uh, Target releasing them online early is just absolutely nuts as well. It's like, what is happening? What, what is happening with all these releases? Like, what is happening exactly? I just feel like some judgment calls on Emerald City Comic Con in itself is just kind of like, whoa, you know? For example, one of the hottest anime exclusives going to the Funko shop, Nejire, Normally those go to Hot Topic or GameStop, so why is it all of a sudden going to the Funko Shop and making it so hard to get in itself? So absolutely crazy there. Like the, your only real guarantee is the lottery getting edgy, right? Because like it's gonna be a madhouse the day of the con. And this is kind of like I guess this is kind of like a little recap as well. It's just been crazy with Emerald City Comic Con um, over the last few days. Now we also have Walmart um, actually released two of their exclusives, Mantena and Dwight as Kerrigan. But the trick here is that they're releasing them without the stickers. There's no register lock. You can buy these. And these are full displays they're putting out. These are, you know, 10 to 20 pops they're putting out at a time. And where are the stickers? They shouldn't have even gotten to Walmart without the stickers from Funko. So how did that even happen? Like, I don't, I'm pretty sure Walmart's not tasked with putting Emerald City Comic Con stickers on their pops. This has happened multiple times with Walmart, uh, granted. But why does it keep happening? Where is the quality control, Funko? It's all over the place. Um, so like, I, like I'm showing you guys in these photos, these pops are already up on eBay for like 50 bucks a piece. And this is no sticker, all right? This is, this is literally with no sticker. People are buying these for 50, $60 with no sticker. And I'm like, literally the day of Walmart's gonna throw these up. Like, like I don't understand why it's Target and Walmart mostly, some of the biggest pop sellers that just don't care about release dates and the workers are just don't, I don't I really don't know how this is actually even happening I don't know if the boxes aren't marked I don't know if um, the actual vendor that's bringing them to Walmart isn't register locking I don't know what's I don't know the whole story I don't work at Walmart or Target but at the end of the day we're gonna go to the actual stores and be looking for these pops on release date the actual release day and there's not going to be anything for anybody because <laughs> Target already sold them all or sold half their stock early on. Walmart sold half their stock three weeks, two, three weeks before the con even started. And it's just absolutely nuts. Like, it's not even personally affecting me because these, these are pops that I don't even personally want. But it affects other people, you know. It doesn't just affect certain people. It affects everyone most of the time at the end of the day. Um, this affects Target in a way with their stock count. This affects Walmart with their stock count. 
I don't understand how it even goes live on online. I don't know if that was an accident or what. It's probably going to go online again the day of, as well as Walmart's going to go on live day of. I wouldn't be surprised in the next few days if we see Walmart go live early. It's absolutely, it's just, you see, it's the trend. Every single year, it just gets worse and worse with these releases. Um, and the only ones that seem to stick to release dates and are very strict on them seem to be Hot Topic, Box Lunch, and GameStop. And then a few other select stores, obviously. But Target and Walmart just do not seem to care. <laughs> it's kind of funny in itself, but it's also just kind of like, you know, uh, the event spoiled because of Target. You know, we already know what was coming to Target. And they're releasing things early, and there's no limit on them, obviously. So you can buy as many as you want. And people are selling five at a time, so it's crazy in itself. And... You know, I, I feel like, I don't know if Hot Topic or GameStop or any of these stores are even going to limit these pops. You know, certain exclusive ones like Chopper, for example, GameStop, I don't know if they're going to limit it to 5. I don't know if they're going to limit it to 10. Like, these stores do this. And, like, for example, with the Cleaning Levi restock, there was 5. They were limiting it to 5. Well, the max was 5, but why do you need to set it to 5? Nobody needs 5 Levi's unless you're trying to resell it. But, you know, it's it's just absolutely crazy. It's absolutely crazy. I don't understand how all these errors keep happening. The quality control, no stickers going out. Like, what? How does that happen? How do you not put stickers on, like, hundreds of pops? This, this, this I don't know. Anyways, uh, the last point I do want to bring to this video also is the fact that we have an image floating around of a Jackie Chun box with a GameStop exclusive sticker with Emperor Pilaf in the box in his mold, or his insert mold. How does that happen? How do you mess it up that bad? Granted, Jackie Chun's supposed to have an Emerald City Comic Con sticker on the box, so why does it have a GameStop sticker? And then Emperor Pilaf is in there with Emperor Pilaf's mold. So there's so many things wrong with this picture. There's, there's just so many things wrong with this. And how this even happened to begin with, I don't even understand. You would literally have had to swap the stickers, swap the inserts, and then even get your hands on a Jackie Chun box. Like, I don't even know where this picture came from, granted, but that's crazy. That's, I don't know if that came directly from Funko to GameStop. That's some bad quality control. That should not be happening. <laughs> no stickers on Walmart exclusives uh, for Emerald City Comic Con should not be happening. Target shouldn't be releasing their items early. Walmart shouldn't be releasing their items early. At the end of the day, they're big, huge corporate companies. They probably don't even care. You know, I know they don't care, actually. I know Funko probably doesn't care as long as you get their sales, but... They cannot complain about this later because it's their fault. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm not saying I don't make mistakes, but this is a big thing. Like, this is a big, big thing. This affects your own community and your own customers when the day comes and there's no stock for them to buy and there's no pops for them to add to their collection because they've already been sold off because you're not regulating Target on their actual release dates and, you know, making them stick to them and things like that. But yeah, this is a very interesting topic. Comment down below your thoughts on this. Uh, did you guys find any of these pops over at Walmart, your local Walmart? If I find some, I do want to go to Walmart. I went to Walmart recently. I didn't see any of these, but if I find some Walmart exclusives and things like that, I'll definitely pick them up and early review them for you guys and uh, maybe they won't even be without stickers. That might be kind of funny to show off in a video. Uh, as far as Jackie Chun, I don't know if that situation, I really don't know what's going on with that. And then, you know, Target, they've already released theirs, but I'm pretty sure there's a register lock now and I'm sure Walmart's going to follow soon as soon as they realize, hey, none of these have register locks and they're really, and they're street dated. So this should be funny, but I'm assuming, you know, Walmart's going to follow a target in the street date since and things like that. So Emerald City Comic Con uh, on, th you know, March 4th, when these all do go live, I have no idea what the stock counts are going to be for Target and Walmart. They might be a little weird. So if you really wanted Dwight or wanted Mantena or Deadpool, Charmander or Yoda, there might be a good chance that you might not be able to get one or maybe you will get one. It depends where you are in the world. But I've seen them all the way in California selling. I've seen them in Florida selling. I've seen them um, over more on the East Coast in New York, uh, Washington, just all over this, all over the states uh, selling different pops from Walmart and uh, Target. So I guess we'll see day of. But this affects a lot of different things. So hopefully in the future, Funko kind of is better with this quality control in terms of putting the right pops in the boxes and putting stickers on the boxes because this seems to happen every single year and there's just no explanation for it. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like down below. I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe and click that notification bell if you're new to stay up to date with Funko Pops and Funko News. And 
yeah, that's pretty much it. I want to say a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. I really do appreciate it. Absolutely love that you guys choose to support me, and I really do appreciate all the love in return. I try to give out a bunch of love and just a bunch of information and make fun videos for you guys. I do appreciate that some people want to support me on that uh, front. So again, thank you so much. If you guys want to check out the Patreon, the link is always down below. I also want to say, uh, make sure to join the Facebook group. It's Buy, Sell, and Trade, and you can make a ton of friends. And we're over 5,000 members, so make sure to join the happy family over there. Also, make sure to be following my social media. Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, all at Skittle Rampage. I'm actively posting over there as well. That's pretty much it. Love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.